Hello YouTube. Welcome back to my Vans RV14 airplane build. This is video number 11 of the elevator construction. And in today's video, we are constructing the skeleton of the front spars and uh, control horns. Yeah, front spars, tip ribs, root ribs, and control horns. Uh, this is some leftover footage from scuffing and cleaning the skin for the foam ribs that go in the in the trailing edge of that skin. So we're putting together the skeleton of the left uh, elevator right here. And then we're going to start riveting on the tip rib. And this is funny because the you've got to go over two flanges to uh to get the squeezer in there and you can see how kind of tight it fits in there i had to like shoehorn it in over the corner where the flanges uh diverge from each other and then adjust the adjustable ram once it was in there um i would still rather do that than using the rivet gun and bucking bar on these because they're such a lightweight it's a large piece, but it's still pretty lightweight uh, piece that would kind of be hard to control the gun on because um, I'm not I wouldn't be able to clamp it to anything realistically because of the flanges. So for that, we're just going to find ways to make the squeezer work. And uh, then we're going to attach that tip rib to the front spar. Um, I don't know if I didn't properly final drill one of these, but there were a couple holes in each front spar that uh, were really tough to get a rivet through. So they weren't really off center or anything. It was just maybe there was some primer buildup or something, and then I couldn't get a drill bit in there. So I used my 90 degree angle drill to get in there. Worked out pretty well. So that was the left, and we're speeding up slightly for the right because it's literally the same process, just mirrored. Oh yeah, these are the reinforcement plates that... Um, yeah, you got to put reinforcement plates onto the front spars where the um, hinge is going to connect to. And the plans mention nothing of them at all until this point where they're like, hey, rivet these to the front spar. And you're like, okay, no problem. So I'll remember to deburr and prime if necessary, et cetera, et cetera. Um, whatever, it's fine. So then we put the root rib on and apparently screw it up and drill out some rivets and then try again. And now we're doing the right side, same thing. And eventually some of these were pretty hard to get to with the gun um, and bar, but I didn't think I could get the squeezer in there. And eventually I just sort of like, again, shoehorn the squeezer into the spot and it makes, the, makes life easier. And now we're on to the um, tip, rib, tip rib skin. And you've got to go from the front center of the sort of the left side of the view there above the squeezer. Um, now it's the right side. Uh, that's the counterbalance of the control surface. So it's funny because it looks pretty big. The only thing the skin actually goes over is the trailing edge. The whole front side is actually fits uh, sort of outside of the horizontal stabilizer. So, uh, yeah, you sort of slowly go back and forth, riveting um, a couple of top, couple of bottom, couple of top, couple of bottom from forward to aft. A very similar situation as the um, as a, as a putting a skin on a surface because we don't want to have any sort of pillowing of that surface. And that specific one, um, these specific uh, sort of skins fit very very tight and i do mean very tight like 
had to use a little pin or Clico or something to sort of push the skin and stretch it just a little bit to get those rivets to sit on there, you know, to, to go in their holes. But it worked out pretty well. Um, I'm pleased with the result on both of the uh, front spars. And the last thing we do here is attach those nice steel powder coated um, control horns to the front spar on both the left and the right. So uh, I don't know what's happening next, but hopefully we'll see you there. Bye for now.